am Dr. Aarti Chanan, working as professor in Jaipuria Institute of Management, Lucknow. Today, I am going to talk about corporate finance and to be very specific, what is the role of a finance manager in a firm? When we talk about finance manager in a firm, there are different stakeholders. Now, different stakeholders will have different requirement. So, as a finance manager, the job is to satisfy the expectation of the stakeholder. Now, it is important to note that as a finance manager, I cannot satisfy the requirement or the needs of all sorts of stakeholder. But what I need to understand, what are the pressing requirement which I need to take care. Another important function of a finance manager is to manage the cash. It is important that cash is managed in an efficient manner. Because if you have too much of cash available with you, you are going to lose the interest. While if you are having shortage of cash, then you will have to run to the bank or other suppliers to get the cash quite often. So cash management is very important for a business. That means you should have sufficient cash to run your business all the time. The role of finance manager is also to forecast and plan. That means you are not doing business only today, you are doing for future. So you should have enough resources to manage the business in the coming time. So you have to do a proper planning of the upcoming months that is required. Then when we are talking about business, there will be some investment. Investment could be in the long term asset or fixed asset. So as a finance manager, I will have to analyze what are the different alternatives where I can make the investment and I will have to evaluate. There are certain techniques which are available which we use to analyze the investment opportunities. So finance manager should be aware of those techniques and should apply those techniques to evaluate the different investment activities. In addition to that, the finance manager will have to do the coordination and control. Now the coordination comes from the different departments it could be from the purchase department, it could be from the sales department or it could be from another department. So there has to be a proper coordination and control because each department will have their requirement. Now sales department might want to have more sales and they want to create more stock while purchase department might want to create more inventory. But as a finance manager, you see there is a blockage of inventory. That means there is a blockage of cash. So you want to control that. So in order to do so, you will have to coordinate within those department. Then the next function of the finance manager is that finance manager should understand the overall financial system in the market. Now why it is important because if you are wanting to raise money, you need to know what time is the right time and what source should I use. Should I go for debt? Should I go for equity? And from where to procure that? So understanding of the whole ecosystem and the market is also important. Last but not the least, another function of the finance manager is to manage the risk. Now, while you are doing all this, there is an inherent risk which is available. We are not talking related to the business risk which is to be managed otherwise. We are talking risk with, with respect to the either the payments or with respect to the receipt. For example, if the firm is exporting or importing certain goods, you might be receiving or getting the dollars. Now, whether that dollar will lose value or will appreciate, that is the risk which you might be facing. So how do you manage the risk? Whether you go for hedging or you don't go for hedging, that is what is the risk management. Then next we talk about who are the different stakeholders in a firm. So in a firm, we can divide the stakeholders in two categories. One is primary stakeholder, another is secondary. Now, primary stakeholders are those stakeholders who are directly in touch with the firm. For example, the customers of the firm, the employees, the supplier, the people who are giving money, financiers, and the board of management. These are the primary stakeholders who are connected with the firm. Then we talk about secondary stakeholder those who are connected but not that way. So like competitor is again secondary stakeholder, government and official people whom we have to give our report, those are also the secondary stakeholder, various NGOs if we are working in a particular uh, society or in a particular uh, region, 
there might be some impact on the society. So NGOs might come into play. Media is also one of the stakeholders. You might be having, you know, consumers advocate groups. Those could be another stakeholder. So these are some of the stakeholders which a firm will have to keep in mind while doing the business. Thank you. We'll talk about other topics in the upcoming sessions.